Today we pick up our Bible study in Mark chapter 16, verses 1 through 8. In Mark chapter 16, verse 1, we learn that women were the first to discover that the Lord Jesus had risen from the grave. They had come to the tomb with spices to anoint the body of Jesus. But to their amazement, they found the stone rolled away from the entrance and an angel clothed in a long white robe sitting on the right side, as stated in Mark chapter 16, verses 4 and 5 of the New King James Version. He said to them, Do not be alarmed. Do you seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified? He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him as he said to you. So we see in Mark chapter 16, verses 6 through 7. But the women were amazed at what they had seen and fled, not saying anything to anyone for now. This is the fulfillment of the promise that our Savior The Savior of the world has indeed risen. This is a command to go and tell everyone of our risen Savior, Jesus. The disciples of Jesus knew that he would rise from the dead as Jesus had previously taught them in Mark chapter 8, verse 31. These women would also have been aware of this as they ministered to him throughout his earthly ministry, as we know from Mark chapter 15, verses 40 and 41. But the reality of this was hard to understand as their eyes were not open to this before the crucifixion of Jesus. It is equally hard for us to open our eyes to such an event being a possible reality in the world today. But that is where faith comes in. And as Jesus said to Thomas in John chapter 20, verse 29, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. The Apostle John declares immediately after this statement in John chapter 20, verses 30 and 31, And truly, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life, in his name. Believe in Jesus and you too will have life in his name. Dear Lord, it was hard for these people to believe in the resurrection of Jesus during the time in which they were present and heard the words of Jesus and saw him and listened to his teaching and saw his miracles. Please give us the gift of your Holy Spirit in our hearts minds, and souls to believe, to believe in the name of Jesus, that he has risen from the grave in victory over sin, death, and Satan, so that we may be redeemed in a proper relationship with you as your children in Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.